I wouldn't put a car tire on a Harley Davidson. Well, why not, Chris? Well, I'm glad you asked. The reason why I wouldn't put a car tire on a Harley Davidson. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Your boy Chris is out on the Gold Wing. Out on the DCT for early morning ride. It's cool out. I'm showing 45 degrees, 45 degrees minus the air temp. And it feels good to be out on the Gold Wing. And today I'm actually out here testing out my camera mount and my phone mount that I installed on my Honda Goldwing. If you guys missed the video of me installing the Bullet Solutions phone mount and camera mount on the DCT Honda Goldwing, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video where you can check it out. And I like the way everything turned out. Man, this looks really, really professional. Really, really nice. You know, the previous mounts that I had on my bike, they did actually real good. But I wanted to improve the looks. I wanted to improve the aesthetics. I wanted to improve the convenience. And so I decided to go with the bullet, the bullet point mounting solutions. And I also installed it in my truck as well. So I was so impressed with how things turned out inside of my, my truck, I decided to put it on the bike. So hopefully you guys have been entertained by my mounts that I've been installing here lately. And so we are getting into the colder months, the colder climates. I talked about things that a biker should wear in the wintertime or when the temperature takes a dip to extend your riding season. And I got some pretty good responses, got some pretty good feedback off of that video. And that's another cool morning. Today I'm wearing my first gear, one-piece suit. It's a little nippy. I need to turn on my turn on my heated seat just a little bit, just to kind of take the nip off, take the chill off, just a little bit. And I just talked about extending your riding season. A lot of riders out there have put their bikes up. Your boy Chris is planning on riding. As long as it's not snow and ice, I plan to be out on the gold wing. I was listening to a video about dark siding. You know, I notice now that a lot of riders are bringing up the topic of dark siding. If you guys have been keeping up with my videos, I've been riding from coast to coast on my double dark side. And I have not had any issues. I've not had any problems. No negatives to report. And I've been seeing just motor vloggers in general, content creators talking about dark siding. The subject has been coming up. I've been hearing it on various channels. Some of you guys have been sending me links on this stuff. And the thing that boggles my mind is for the guys that do not dark side, how are you now a subject matter expert on the subject of dark side? And we, that's something that you never done. You know, I must admit that years ago, I said that I wouldn't put a car tire on my bike. I didn't consider myself a subject matter expert. But it was just something that I felt like it was not something that I thought I would do. But the more I looked into the subject, the more I studied the subject, 
I put myself off into the dark side. I said, let me see what this is all about. And I was talking to a good friend of mine, JC, who actually turned me on the dark side. And I went to the dark side. I tried it out. And to be honest with you, I haven't looked back. And, you know, there's a lot of people out there that everybody's a subject matter expert. You'll hear people say, well, you know, a uh, car tire is not made for a motorcycle. You'll hear people say that the bead of the tire would not fit around the rim properly. Uh, and the, the tire would come off the rim and things like that. And, you know, you're going to crash and burn and, you know, just all of these negative things. But the people that saying this stuff have never even dark sided. Or you might have had a guy that maybe dark sided just for a ride up the street. He didn't like what he felt. And now he's a subject matter expert. So I just want all of my viewers to understand that everybody is not a subject matter expert. I have invested my time. I've invested my money. I've invested my safety to find out if dark side and worked it. I was listening to one content creator and he said the reason people dark side is because of the cost. It's cheaper. But he went on to say that he's never dark sided and he wouldn't dark side. Well if that is the case, then how do you know that that's the reason why we dark side? There's a lot of benefits to dark siding. Saving a little bit of money is just the reward of dark siding. That's the reward. You know, I've had even, I've even had people to say to me, "Well, apparently he can't afford motorcycle tires if he's running a car tire." Well, I've gone out and bought my own machine, which is super expensive, just to be able to put on my car tire and run tests. And I've ridden from east coast to west coast a couple of times on this DCT. I've done it on the previous generation that I owned. I didn't have any issues. I've even heard some guys say, well, you know, uh, uh, you know, dark side is fine if you're riding a straight line, but it doesn't handle good in the curves. That is a bold-faced lie. That's a bold-faced lie. Then you have these guys that say, well, if it handles so good, then why come the experts don't recommend it? Everybody is a subject matter expert. But I would tell you this. You want to talk to the people that do it. You don't want to talk to the people that's against it and has never done it, or a guy that has done it only just for one rip, one trip, one ride up the road. But saving money... It's not the reason why I dark side my gold wing. I dark side my gold wing because of the, the benefits of running a car tire. I have a I have a heavier load rating. That means that get around this car. He's driving a little bit slower than what I want to go. I have a heavier load rating. You know, think about the big heavy Honda Gold Wing. Once you put a passenger on your bike, you pretty much overweight on your tires. But a car tire has a heavier load rating. It has a wider footprint. It's going to channel more water. It's going to grip the road better, which means it's going to stop faster. Also, it's going to disperse water and rain a lot better than a regular motorcycle tire. It's going to last a lot longer. And it absorbs the bumps better. You know, the thing about a gold wing, for motorcycle tires, when you're riding and you're hitting bumps, those motorcycle tires don't absorb shock. They don't absorb bumps real well. You know, you have to depend on the suspension of the bike to absorb the bumps. The thing I like about a car tire is it absorbs a lot of the the bumps on the road. In conjunction with the suspension on the bike, it actually will make your suspension last longer because your suspension is not the only thing that's taking a beating. You're getting a chance to disperse some of that energy through the tires. It absorbs the shocks better. So it handles the bumps better. It's one of the things I really love about running a car tire. All of those added benefits. Just to recap, we got a heavier load rating. 
We've got a wider footprint. It's going to channel more water better. It's going to stop faster. It's going to grip the road better. It absorbs the bumps better. All of those extra things come along with having a car tire. It's not just the cost. So when I hear people say things like that, that lets me know that you're not an expert. You're just repeating what you have heard somebody say or that's just something you believe. But I've studied the subject. I've logged thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of miles on a car tire. I have not had any issues. I would be willing to put my car tire up against a motorcycle tire any day. So not only have I invested my time, I've invested my money. And I've even invested safety. And I've come to the conclusion that a car tire, to me, is much safer than a motorcycle tire. Now, let me say this. I'm speaking of the Goldwing. I'm talking about the Honda Goldwing. I'm not talking about a Harley Davidson. I wouldn't put a car tire on a Harley Davidson. Well, why not, Chris? Well, I'm glad you asked. The reason why I wouldn't put a car tire on a Harley Davidson is because I wouldn't ride a Harley Davidson. <laughs> I don't have nothing against Harley Davidsons. I have friends that have Harley Davidsons. I used to own a Harley Davidson. But I prefer the Honda Goldwing, a liquid-cooled bike, heated seats, heated grips, electronic windshield, the most reliable bike. It's not as loud. You know, the thing about those Harleys, you're going down the road, man, the pipes are loud. Man, that thing will give you a headache. It will literally give you a headache. So, no, I would not put a car tire on a Harley Davidson because I wouldn't ride a Harley Davidson. Not now. Maybe if it was given to me, but that's not my thing. And I'm not knocking anybody that rides a Harley. So if anybody watching my video, you own a Harley Davidson, hey, man, if you like it, I love it. Everybody has their likes and dislikes. So I get it. So if you want to ride a Harley, be my guest. You will not hear anything out of me. But as it relates to car tires, you Harley guys out there that's talking this crap about that you wouldn't put a car tire on your bike. Well, I understand, but don't knock it until you try it. And just because you tried it, that doesn't mean you're a subject matter expert. I've logged thousands of miles running coast to coast, planning on logging thousands and thousands of miles in 2025, and I've not had any issues. And, again, the cost of a car tire is just a reward. I run a car tire for the benefits. I just want to put that out there for anybody that's watching this video. I'm just out here rambling on a gold wing. Trying to get my ride in this morning. I heard testing out my phone mounts that I've installed, my bullet point mounting solutions. I've installed my phone. I installed a camera mount. And I just want to see how everything turns out on post production. Talking to you guys on my Cardo Pack Talk Pro. Cardo Pack Talk Pro. How do I sound on my Cardo Pack Talk Pro? I want everybody to chime in on this video. Drop a comment down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, I want you to take the opportunity and click that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I have more videos to come, I guarantee you. I have over, what, 1,800 videos out on YouTube? I have so many videos, I haven't even been keeping up with the numbers. This is uh, your boy Chris, out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. One of the most technologically advanced motorcycles in the world. The Honda Gold Wing. And I will, as always. I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.